I'm working a little bit behind the scenes to get a couple of items I missed from the broadcast yesterday while uh, people are coming in. Which unfortunately means I have to come back here. And then, oh yeah, now that there's... Now that people are here, hang on. I can get to safety for a moment. Turn this on. Hello. That's right. I was here the whole time. You, had, you guys had no idea either. The uh, reason I'm back in this nightmare is because I missed a shard of Estus. And I'm trying to greedily make my way back to it without dying along the way. And unfortunately, I'm now being hit with magic missiles from three different vantage points. But I think, I think, I think we're, I, I think we should run. Whoa, who's that? Okay. Hello, big battle. Broheim, VR Cryptid, Casual Gato, the whole gang's here. And LSAM 388, too. Maybe we can just de- Actually, you can help me. Uh... We have us a meat shield we can summon now. Make getting the shard a bit easier. Lone Hunter Smitty. Oh, you're still old. Active. You want to do, handle this? Good. Yeah. Keep keep it up. Uh, good. You're doing great. You're doing great. Maybe finish the job here. Don't knock him down. I want to get to where that ogre, that nightmarish ogre is. Because, uh. Well, happy birthday, big battle. 22. Are you finally 22? Because if you're not, you got a username change to do. All right. Uh, actually, I can just have him deal with the ogre for a second feel like an asshole, but it's an NPC. It's fine. You can be jerks to NPCs, but it's fine. Oh, you gotta change your name to Big Battle 31. Mm, I don't think he's gonna do farewell here. We're gonna have to bid him farewell is what we're gonna do. Oh, did he? he Finish that you're... Oh. Alright. This is actually fine, because he can help us. Make this treacherous trek. The shard in question is down here in a very annoying area where dying frequently is, uh, uh Right. This is why this is so awful. Okay, Schmidt's no longer a meat shield for us, unfortunately. The shard is right there. Maybe... Someone coming up behind me. Oh fuck! Ah. <laughs> how did he? How? How did he do that? How is that even even remotely possible? 
Uh, that's completely ridiculous. Okay. Yeah, he, did, he, did, he didn't even have a torch equipped. How do you know where to go? That was a fun lesson to learn. I guess that is uh, possible. Let's see if we can perhaps not lose our 18,000 souls. Okay, similar strategy to before, but we kill the ogre this time. Okay. All right, Schmidt, you get another chance. Thanks for clipping that big battle. Could you have asked big battle for a better birthday gift? Then that clip, treasure it for the end of time. I think we can just despawn him if we get far enough away. Of course, I get too far away, I'll aggro all the enemies. Yeah, well, that's just that. And then once we get the shard, the true content, of today's broadcast can't officially begin. Yeah, they actually, <clears throat> excuse me, they actually did make this zone more better in Scholar. I don't remember too well the original, just that it was frustrating. What, what was worse? Were there more magic missile turrets? Oh, good job, Schmidt. Yes. Yes. Finish it. Fin Come on, Schmidt. Oh, Schmidt. No. Okay, hang on. We can't fight an ogre and deal with this at the same time. That's wholly impractical. All right, Schmidt. Show you how to... She's an ogre. Keep a safe distance is what you do. A little help, Schmidt. Have you ever seen that show, Schmidt's Creek? Step one, complete. Uh, can save on a butterfly, but... Oh. Eh, you seem like you're good. <laughs> Leave him to his devices. That ogre found himself in a very schmitty situation, it's true. But now, now I can show you guys this amazingly good game design to get to this Estus Flash Shard. Oh, and we can still get all of our souls back. Starting a little early, Patty. Uh, you almost distracted me to death, Patty. Oh, damn. Okay, seems fine. Yeah, target him. Uh, you're doing great, Schmidt. <laughs> Thanks. I think I want to get to the next. <laughs> 
task is not done, sir. Just to be extra cautious. Well, actually, I think we just do this. Uh, <laughs> There's also a treasure chest. Uh, there it is. <sighs> now we never come back here ever again except in the end game after you kill the king there's secret doors you can do and we can come back here and again and enjoy some more some more shrine of anime doesn't that sound nice Now maxed out. This is why I started early. We got to, had to grind for some extra stuff. And we got to burn our boner dust. Yeah, I got to come back with those Fino Milfs, right? I think you mean Milf Nitos. We just have enough for one level, even if we eat those souls. Mm -hmm. All right, we're sitting pretty at 130. What do souls taste like? I imagine they have like a popcorn-like texture. Because you've, I mean, you guys who have played this before, you've sat by those bonfires and you've just popped souls, right? They're like Pringles. I think, uh, I like to imagine. I'm not sponsored, by the way, by Pringles. Yet. Yet. Keyword, yet. Okay. Let's explore some new stuff. Mm, sour cream and onion Pringle soles. That sounds pretty good. Also, you're making me hungry. Who wants another dark area in the game? More torch gimmick opportunities, although here I don't think you need the torch as much. No. At least it's so dark that his buddy over there has no idea what's going on. On the bright side. He's just on patrol, so we'll not mind him for, for now. I think the spear sword guys, you just want to not target them and just kind of run around like a loony. Can I have your torch? That was the only way I could think of to ask, so thank you. Oh, yeah, the great sh grape shield guys. I forget what the... Th how they work exactly. Open say ah? This is what, um, what's his face? Uh, Celsor Luet. This is like an extreme roided out version of him. <laughs> Hope you all saw that. Because I love Ragnar. Right. Dude is quite strong. Did you see that body go flying? Oh, hi. Is that an NPC there? that do to me? Mm. 
Oh, that damaged my stamina, but I don't know. I don't think the show that the witch is putting on is that impressive. I mean, look at the audience. I mean, they're just loving this. I guess if you're out of stamina, it'll then hurt your health, perhaps? Oh, there's another one. Scarlet, what are you doing? Okay. Who is Scarlet a devotee to, I wonder? Because your lack of help is not good. I want that. Uh, isn't that the item I was looking for? There's a staff that lets you cast both hexes and markles. And I think this is the one. Yep. Sorceries, miracles, and hexes. That is exactly what I was looking for. Now I can use these things that I picked up too. That's exactly what I wanted. Excellent. Just how excellent is this stream going to go today? Fire. And I, what happened in that cliff? Hold. Human. Do not produce light. Light. And all will be buried. I'm welcome in this place. Bird. Sounds like a gamer, am I right? But yes, I do remember that it being a thing. If you do light a torch in here, these guys will be upset at you and attack you. But I didn't, so they won't bother me. All these lying messages. I am Agdain, guardian of the crypt. Countless dead rest here in peace. Cradled by the comfort of dark. Light only agitates. We have no need for it here. I am a finito. We weave death and water. Do you know the MILF Nitos? This task was grounded. <laughs> Chop man, what's up with Castlevania? Did you know Agdane is Dracula spelt backwards? Mm, that actually checks out. Now that I'm looking at it, yeah. Interesting long. fact. Some were rich, others poor. Some wise, some dull, but now they are all just dead. What do you think of the Scarlet? Does this count as not producing light? Because Scarlet is very bright. Do you still have more to say? Don't you open Did up you a shop? I'm just gonna blah blah blah. blah. Oh, there we are. What do you have? No, no, no. Hmm. Well, that's, I didn't know that. Uh, sold those. No. What does the Elizabeth mushroom do again? Oh, huh. kind of good, actually. Uh, what does this do? Okay, so that looks terrible. And this is the, yeah, the healing pyromancy spell. Uh, that's fine. All right. Okay, so if memory serves, you can produce light in the rest of the area if you want to, and it won't hurt the guy's feelings. What? Scarlet. Scarlet. Oh, Scarlet. Don't tell me she was a devotee to bottomless pits.
As long as the light isn't in his face, you can light wherever? Okay. I mean, to be fair, his basement is very large, so I think it's okay if there's some light. Excuse me? Try again? There's no other way to get out, short of using a boner. Oh, ghost guy. Okay. How do you kill him, though, from... Do I need a bow? Or, I, alternately, I could try to time his attacks and move past him when he hits. I'm the nudist guarding the treasure. Uh. Sorry, nudist. I have no time for your kind. No offense to nudists out there. I do imagine most of you are watching this fully naked, so... I don't encourage that behavior. Okay, let's so light a torch there if I like. Uh, is there any point? Probably not. Or wait, if you... Mm -hmm. Are there... Is there a merchant anywhere that sells flaming butterflies? I thought I remember if you light this... Oh, it summons a guy. The torch will save me. Oh. Hey, that's my strategy you're employing, sir. Oh. Okay. You've got quite an array of dark powers. I hope that's the only adverse consequence of doing that. Hashtag content content to be nude all the time. All the time, though. Mm, there is something down there, right? Looks like it. I don't remember this hidey hole, though. Oh god, one of those here? Well, hmm. Yeah, they don't use magic. Can you backstab it? Can't backstab. That wasn't as bad as I thought. Thank you. I always go for good defensive strats. Oh, okay. A soul whistle. Not that we need that anymore. I think we've got our build more or less figured out. That turn radius, I know. Well, they actually wear roller skates. It's in the lore if you read the item description for the Imperius Helm that I picked up. It talks about how they use roller blades and spin a lot. I heard a sign. What was the fog door that I... Or I guess the fog door is another way to get in this chamber. What are we looking on souls? We got 22 for a level. And... Between all this, that should get us over there. So let's, uh, who is this, first of all? Oh, Karen, oh my gosh, it's Karen. Karen, stand by. You guys, Whimsy Karen, one of my most steadfast allies through the years. Back in the olden times when I streamed Dark Souls 2, far back in the those halcyon days of hitbox.television. 
What? I know is your reaction probably. Anybody remember Headbox? Anybody remember Broham Delir gifting a sub to Whimsy Karen? Much deserved. Thank you for doing that. Karen, welcome to the Beatus Beat Off Army. That's right, I have an army now. As of today, apparently. All right, hopefully I didn't jack up my soul memory too much. Uh, you're devouring those uh, juicy souls. Remember back when Twitch decided that the 30 second delay was good? Yeah, oh, I remember quite well. Ooh, I think there's another thing I want to do. Um, what was I going to say on that? Yeah, that was the reason why I started using Hitbox in the first place. Way back when, because I think I had Twitch as well, but the delay that they had native to it, at least for non-partnered people like I was at the time. I'm going to juice this thing up. Can I juice it up all the way? Uh, oh, I don't have enough souls. It's a good enough souls. I can. I need to get those chonks up so I can have a evil staff that's great with great powers. I should probably infuse the staff with darkness as well. No reason not to do that. Okay. Let's get Karen in here. Yeah, that delay was rough. It made it, like, impossible to just... You know, glance over. Oh, a chat comment. I will now react to it. Uh, oh no, Karen, you're just feared. Oh, oh, Karen, I'm a jerk. I'm so sorry. I jacked up my soul memory too much. Ah, uh, I shouldn't have done that. Terrible mistake on my part. Oh, you got summoned. Okay. You got summoned by other content creators? Karen? Are you visiting other content creators behind my back? This will not stand. Oh, aren't there just constant dudes who come from the dead here? Oh, unless you destroy these things, I think. Right, ringing the bell's bad. Ringing the bell summons those guys. do you make this train stop? You don't ring all the bells, do you? Well, that guy seems like he knows what he's doing, so... NPC, I'm guessing? Ghost, you're terrible at this. I don't recall the Mario 2 drunk playthrough. Uh, so, is this not get inable because the summons here, or because that's the door that I went around originally? Oops. Oh wait, it's the gravestones you want to kill. That's that's what you do. Uh, is this where I dropped into the room originally? Is that an NPC? NPCs wouldn't just do that, would they? They usually just hang out behind you. The name seems so like official that. You know, it wasn't like XX Butlord Sephiroth 69 Goku, so I, I'm less sure. I do like Mass Effect Chop Man. I played one, two, and three. Did not play Andromeda. Heard enough uh, bad about it that I felt comfortable ignoring it. Okay, Andromeda's from behind. As much as I love penetrating this from the rear, I, we don't want to go that way. Are you ringing bells, Arn? Are you role-playing as a troll? Probably for the best. That's about what I've heard. 
think I've heard of a soul, a dark soul, who actually enjoyed Andromeda. Uh, I think we're fine leaving that. There it, oh. I was about to ask if there was an NPC invader coming up, because I kind of remember one, and here we are. Maybe you should usurp some better combat strategies. I mean, am I right or am I right? I mean, it's like some NPC invader from software. Maybe go back to the drawing board. Oh. Thanks for pointing that out, guy. Oh. Arn, are you a chatter or are you just a, a friendly rando? No, they didn't bother giving him a name. I guess that's how From felt about it. Ooh, the Avalon. That's right. That's the jacked up crossbow. The Uzi of crossbows, if you will. The Uzi worm of crossbows, if you will. I see you in chat. I'm glad you have such good aim. All right, Arn, how do you want to do this? I'll take the wall on the right, you take the wall on the left, let's go. My skill at dodging, it's too much. I should have gotten hit so many times there. Um. Oh, how did I not see that? Oh, thank you. Delicious healing. All right, destroy this. Sorry, ghost. One of them invisible hollows you can hear about blue flame. Remember a blue flame. Oh, there you go, ring the bell. Huh? I'll, I'll get back to you. See what's going on down here. Oh, he rang the bell. It's a little troll bell location. Good job, Arn. Wait, who else is ringing the bell? What the heck? Karen! Give it up in a moment. For the one, the only. Folks, it's Lindsay, Karen. Deserving of your applause. Uh, that's the path I went down. What's this? Nope, that's the path I went down. What's this one? Oh. Well, sorry, Arn. You were a good helper. Nice, Whimsy Karen still, uh, Karen, if I recall, rocked the, uh, witch look from these streams of old as well. Excellent fashion. And now with Karen in tow, we have the opportunity to, uh, who's the boss of this area? It's, it's the guy with the, the big thing and he's a big guy. He's a very large man is the extent of my memory of him. Oh, right. You have to pull this. Thank you, Karen. Oop. We've all been there, aren't I know. Happens to the best of us. Oh, that's a shortcut. This is the exit. So a shortcut in tow. I think there's a treasure over here. Not a mimic, I don't think. Not a mimic, I know. I was confident the entire time. Oh, 
nice. Graham's here too. We got Legal Harlot in the chat as well. Legal Harlot 91. A very legal year to be born. There's another bell here and no one to ring it. They changed this. Uh, this hallway used to be full of uh, guys and now instead it's full of ghosts. It was kind of an irritating gauntlet to go through, I remember, and still kind of is. Range seems shady. Now they put all the guys at the end, so you still have to go through some guys. But if you're swift, you can maybe hop in the door before they uh, ruin your day. Is that the ghost or my buddies? Don't hurt my friends! Nice job, gang. Uh, I feel like there was an item on the side. One of the sides. Not this side. You barely remember this area? It's one of the less memorable areas of the game. Uh, it's fine. You know, you, you gotta have, like, a dark crypt-like area to explore in your Dark Souls game. Am I right? What does every Dark Souls level need? It needs some kind of creepy wood area. It needs something to do with water. It needs... Uh, some random garbage that literally everyone hates. I mean, yes, of course it does. Every Dark Souls needs a stinky poo-poo spot. All right, so... Oh, this is an NPC, I believe. Yeah. Oh, that, <laughs> sorry, guys. I didn't realize there was still some action going on down here. But I'm happy to take the prizes. Ooh. All right, gang. Let's give a whoopin' to this boss who I don't remember. I think his name starts with a V... That's the extent of my memory. Let's see. Throw on the magic barrier, too. Oh, I don't know if this boss actually uses magic of any kind. Velstat? Victor? Vincent? I'm so big, I can't leave this chamber. Will you help me? Like, how is he supposed to get around the rest of the... Yes, Velstadt. Should go down very quickly with three people. Four people ganging up on staff as well. All these souls I got now should be able to fully upgrade it. Doesn't that do something like an AoE? Guess not. Or is, no, that's just his second form. And he becomes a lot beefier. I have no idea what's going on. Good teamwork, guys. Oh, Graham, please, I didn't do that much. That was that was all you and Karen, clearly. Nice. Yeah, Karen's pumped up! You got you love seeing a witch who's pumped up. Don't you? Like the witches stir in the stew, and then the witch is suddenly like, oh yeah. yeah. You get yourself a witch who's also a hype man. Or hype woman. 
the lore guys. This is King Vendrick. And he is hollowed out a little bit. Was this music always here? I don't remember this. So you, you can, uh, if you want to whack him off, you can try. I'm not going to because you, it will not be easy, basically. Let's get a look at this gorgeous king. This is why this game has an M rating, by the way. It's disturbing. It's, it's sick. All right, I guess we just uh, nope out. Yeah, my, my boners are on. Yeah, you need some, you need to beat off giants before you can beat off the king of the giants. It just makes sense, logically speaking. Probably the best moment in all of Dark Souls, fight me. He doesn't really have a fight me attitude. He has a uh, attitude. He doesn't really seem to. Oh, well, let's go. Let's go to Duff Bro's place for the purposes of upgrading our amazing stuff to the maximum level. There's so many areas of this game. We haven't even covered all of them. Just trying to find the TV remote. But wait till he finds out that he doesn't even have a TV in his big circular chamber. Like, what is the king? Is that the king's chamber? What, 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 what would he do in there before he got all hollowed and sad? All right, we infuse our staff with this. Wait, that's dark. Yes, required dark next time. Yes. Then we reinforce it to the Max. And now let's see how much damage our dark orbs do. Look at that damage. You think that doggy had a chance against orbs of pure darkness? I don't think so. Uh, oh, good call, Legal Harlot. I did not unlock Crow Lady for boss weapons. I recall how, I think, but I don't know if I actually need any boss yeah. weapons. Aside from them, aside from them looking cool, I don't think I need them for this guy. But for completionist's sake, I might do that. Eh, maybe sometime later. Oh, you can buy flame butterflies from her? That's good to know. All right, you know what? You convinced me. Let's let's do let's do a little errand. Let's go ahead and get the witch lady. Okay, so you go to I'm gonna see if I can do this all from memory. I think first you go here. Alright, it's like you guys are putting me on the spot. You are demanding that I master this, so let's Okay, so first things first. You go... Wait, okay. Uh, you go... Here... Okay, that's actually not where I wanted to do, but... Oh, that's fine. Just pop out. You... Un... You... You're this guy, correct? This guy gives you the key to where the bird lady is stuck. We're just gonna make this add some extra epicness to this incredible fight. Oh, you're, oh, that's right. This is a new game plus mode. This whole area, because I needed the uh, I needed to do that to unlock the. Uh, what do you call it? The Ring. Southern Ritual Band Plus 2. Yeah, that's beefy damage he does. No. Okay, that's step one. Step two. Okay, did y'all see that? Uh, step two. 
using the same accident I did before, I think we can jump in the window and get to... Wait, where'd the window go? Does this guy just ignore you? Okay. Okay, then you use the fang key to unlock... This! Just gotta deal with these New Game Plus lizards who still are made of sandpaper. Please don't damage me on mocking you. It's embarrassing. Yeah, let's not get stoned. And then we free Bird Lady. We talk to Bird Lady. Thank you for helping me. We look at Bird Lady. I am Onifers. I owe you some form of thanks, but have nothing for you at the moment. Whatever you do, do not give me a kiss, please. It would not trouble you. Would you visit my It'll abode to stand around? Kill me, probably. I mean, look at that beak; it's sharp. Nice, a one-for-one one your exchange. Thank you. No, not even a little peck on the cheek. It, it would go like, like in one side out the other. It'd be okay. She is officially moved. And I did talk to that dark guy. There remains one dark location to open for that stuff. I don't even know if I want to do that, but for the sake of a, would it be a real stream if I didn't give Dark Lurker a go at some point? Even though I'm not a fan of Dark Lurker. That's my uh, 23,000 for a level. Can probably get there by eating these. Uh, yes, accessing her is a bit of a pain in the ass. I recall where she is, I think. Let's see once we get there. Uh, well, if I eat all these, will that get me to where I want to be? Oh. I just want a single solitary level, folks. Is that too much to ask? That... Oh, my, that more than does it. Okay. We can get two levels now. There until. You guys are trying to keep up with co-op. Sorry if I'm making it more difficult. <laughs> the soul memory mechanic just does not make... It seems like such a step backwards compared to how they had co-op work in the first game. Because it punishes newer players, because you're going to keep eating souls as you kill stuff, but then as you keep making mistakes and losing souls, you're going to have, you know, people who do not make mistakes invade you, and they're going to be, but likely will have outclassed you, because they will be at a higher level. Am I right in how I'm thinking about this? Uh, so now, oh yeah, bird lady, we go here. Hey, cool wrong. thank you for the raid, hello. I am not wrong. Legal Harlot, I think you meant to say you are never wrong. Oh, interesting. All right. Okay, so get to the lady. Scald the person nerf soul memory a bit, but yeah, you can hard lock yourself out of getting help while stronger folks invade you. Yeah. Sounds like a soft nerf to me. Okay, so to get to horny facts, I want to get where? Okay, so let's start. I don't remember which side I want to uh, be on to jump to the right area. All right, let's deal with these scary... Uh, kill the spiders with our binoculars, for starters. Seems good. Good strat. I'm not, even, not only going to kill the spiders, I'm going to knock their door over. So now these spiders, when they respawn, they will have no privacy. It's an important thing to do in Dark Souls. You just don't want to just kill the enemies, but you want to make them regret ever crossing you in the first place. Okay, so I think what we can do... I think we're on the right side. So we want to drop down here, and Horny Fex is... There's a door down here that leads to her, I believe. It's just like how we got that chest to shard. 
Cover, calmly, heal. We're at a higher level than we were last time we were here, so no excuses for dying. It's not acceptable. The bird lays in here. Okay. Hey, bird lady. I need. Sorry, I need to borrow your room. Got a machine gun. Any help? Horn effects? Maybe. Yeah. The OG PvP threat. Double Avalons, I know. That's what we call a fan service invader. <laughs> Sorry, I wrecked your room. Can I have stuff? I do have a face cam now and green screen. We're getting super cash in this environment now. Name a cash or stream, I dare you. Please don't. I, I can't take the uh, humiliation. Your eyes even open? Oh. Excuse me. Just because I break their door down, then all the spiders come calling. Keeps talking. I don't meet the stat requirements for any of this. I don't remember ever really playing around with any of these. I, maybe I used the Lost Sinner's Sword a little bit. Butcher's Knife I definitely tried out. Uh, this I didn't. That I never used. don't think I ever used that. Or that. Is there a cheap ranged bow that has minimal stat requirements? Because one problem with this build... There's our flame butterflies. One problem with this build is that uh, I've not increased my... Uh, my strength and dexterity are only enough to use this uh, sword. But I can't really use much else. Small problem. Uh, oh yeah, she can reinforce your shit too. Okay. Short bow? Who, what, who among the great merchants out there sells a short bow? Sounds like a uh, early game item you can get. Oh, it's the bat staff. Uh, I think we're just done here, right? So. Oh, the one in Majula sells it? Well, look, you never buy anything from the blacksmith in Majula. When would you ever need to buy stuff from him? I can't be expected to have not only all of the lore of the game in my head, but also every shopkeeper's wares at the same time. Do you know how much that is to cram? And I gotta be cramming the content in here as well. I've mentioned this on several streams, but these are these streams are always fully scripted. Everything is pre-written well in advance. Are you talking about the other merchant? The lighty? Oh, it's in the shop? There's a chest? Oh, you know what? I may have... Uh, <clears throat> I know I picked this up at some point, but I may have sold it when I was getting rid of my shit to Gavilan, unless it's in my item box. Not in the item box, so I may just not have it. <laughs> oh, well. I think I can... I've gone this far without using ranged weapons besides orbs of darkness. So I think we'll just make do. Is there really no other short bow location in the game? 
Um, okay, so we got... Okay, so next... What do we do next? Okay, we go here. Uh, we got the key to the guy's face from the battle toad yesterday. And we have the king's ring as well, which opens up all of the king doors. So first, go to the elevator. Yeah, the magical, magical spells have good range, but sometimes it's harder to lock onto a distant enemy than it is with a bow. Get ready for an incredible moment, guys. It's gonna be so exciting. are into this, huh? Wow. Wow, the metrics, they're going crazy. This seems good. I'll just do that. It's fine. The technology of the Dark Souls universe is so intuitive. Ring of the Dead, that is a uh, cosmetic thing, is it not? Yes. Kind of pointless. Someday you'll feed on a tree frog. Surely there's a video up there of somebody playing Snake Eater during this elevator ride. Or that ladder climb. All right, so we can go to the throne of want if we want, right? And that's, uh... We don't want to do that yet. Because there's other king doors uh, to open. I think we want to go to Aldia's Keep next, don't we? Because you go there, then you do the dragon place, and then after that you do the giant memories, which are behind one or two other king doors, I think. So to get to that, we go back to, what's it called? The, road, the fork in the road here. Time to go to Aldi's. We have to go to Aldi, Aldi's Keep, but I don't have enough loose change to get the, to get the carts. What am I gonna do? Killer and Sam, we're gonna have to borrow some change from you, I'm sorry. Pretty sure it's this way. Yeah, this is where... We went a few broadcasts ago. I think we already killed the ogre here, unless it comes back, which it absolutely does. There's like 70. Uh, there's like 80 of these in Aldia's Keep or something like that, aren't there? I remember the, there being a lot of those dudes. It's like they show you the ogre in the very first part of the game, get you used to the idea of ogres existing, and then at the end of the game, they just give you many ogres. Well, I'm ogre it, folks. Folks. I also made an ogre pun yesterday, so I apologize for that. Okay. Uh, what ring do I not mind? Un 
equipping. I guess this one. Does this actually do anything for your statistics? The flame that began it all can be yours. I thought the door would open. This ghost is in awe of just as much as I am, except they're in awe of the idea of downward sloping hills, which is also quite good. Okay. So hereabouts, I remember there being a couple of uh, valuable treasures along the outskirts. I remember like dog rats attack you. There's like a mimic chest here too, I believe. And I don't think you can summon people out here. Oh crap, they also petrify you. That's the gimmick. If you petrify, it's instant death, isn't it? It was Dograt stone you in a hurry? Oh, instant death and you lose more of your HP. Ouch. Well, we can always lure them away with our many alluring skulls. All right, you are a mimic. I'm guessing. Let's see if this guy fell for it. Well, <laughs> he didn't fall for it. Wait. What happened to you? You fought it, then you opened it? Doesn't. That's not how that plays out. This mimic has no chance. Here's my dick! Oops. The Mimic's last strat was to flash his junk right in your face and see if that kills you. And I did take a lot of damage there, a lot of psychic damage. Look till you good? Who are you? Oh. I, know I, I don't think I summoned Luca Teal in the. Oh. I did. Me say. My name is Luca Teal. I beg of you, remember my name. Anybody know who her name is? What her name is? My name is Luca Teal. I have no idea. I thought I only summoned her three times, and I thought it was four. But we uh, we got her clothes. Or she made copies of her clothes, and now we have them. Oh, we also got this cool mask. Check it out. I don't even remember when I got this. We also got this. And we also have this. But, but, we also have a pointy mask. And, and, we have this guy's face. We have so much stuff. I'm going to stick with the hexy stuff. Right? Okay. Oh, all my magic charges went down slightly because I took the hexer's hood off. Oops. Um, I think we just break down the front door, see what happens. Oh, the mask dropped the... Or the mimic dropped the mask. I'm scrolling through dialogue boxes so fast I can't even keep up. I can't even keep up. Okay, um... I remember the keep being pretty cool. I remember generally being a fan of the content of this area. Me and Graham are gonna storm the keep together. Is this Luca Teal's evil form?
Oh, it's Lucatil's brother. So what's the lore behind Lucatil's brother? What uh, what's what's his deal? Why did he become an evil red phantom? This is Karen? Ah, oh, Peruser's back too. Nice. We got the whole gang here from the earlier streams. All we need is like Dectalon and Karen to join too, and for the amount of phantoms to not be restricted to three, and then we got a full party going on here. Uh, wait, doesn't this come to life? Don't you like, you run up there, this wakes up and yells at you. But do you go back here? I mean, Graham went right back here, which makes me think you're meant to go down here first. There's a guy you can talk to. Chat, should I free the guy? Oh, he doesn't do that and the dragon doesn't do that in Scholar? Please, just stay away. No, please, don't come near me. Nothing good will come of it. I'm gonna let you guys decide. Do you want me to free this guy or just not? Leave me alone, please. Leave this place and leave me be, as I'd not see any harm before you. Oh, if, if you light up all the torches, please. he comes back to life? Oh, do you not get a choice please. to... Oh, I thought you got an option to free him. Oh, wait, no, there's something that opens his door. That's a switch or something. Mm -hmm. Another blue flame. What is this blue flame? This is like the third one I've gotten. Is it a, uh, well, it's a weapon, is it not? Blue, blue, blue. Oh. Oh, you can use sorcery with it. Cool. What's this? Oh, <laughs> uh, thank you, Graham. You that did me a solid. I think that was Graham. You left me that. That was so nice of you. Thank you for that. That is a good convenience. I like this. This is a cool little like use of messages, because it's never really happened in the game up until now. Aside from, like, the tutorial stuff. Uh, chat, should I pull this lever? Yes or no? Right, can I do a poll in chat? Let's see. I gotta know. I just, I wanna see what the people are hungry for. Pull the lever? Uh, yes or no. Give you guys, I'll give you guys two minutes to vote on that. Tell me what to do in this situation, chat. In the meantime, while the poll's going, I'll, uh, I'm gonna look around the keep a little bit. <laughs> All right, well, I, I feel like we want to awaken the dragon, so... Oh, oh, shit. Yeah, you didn't know that was how it happened. that another forlorn dude? How's the vote ratio looking on the poll? Is it is, is it decisive or should we continue letting it tick down? What's up the other stairs? Or is that one blocked? A forlorn invades for every single sconce you light? Goodness gracious. It's too stressful. I don't know if I can handle that. Uh. Oh, it doesn't matter. All right, while the poll continues counting down, it'll flash the results of it on chat for me once it expires. Let's waken. Since I got help, we, let's, uh, let's keep Graham and Peruser on their toes a little bit. Come on, guys. Everybody. Everybody? Next. 
stab. All right, pretty strongly, yes. I will go pull the lever in a moment. Yeah. Good job, Cell Sword. Oh. Damn, Peruser, you got a big <laughs> Why is that so funny to me? Bright Bug. Bright Bug. What does Bright Bug do? All right, let's go free the guy. It's important. <laughs> Good job breaking the filibuster chat. We have a result. We have decisive action happening. We have decisive action happening. Oh my God, Peruser knows where to go. Peruser, I need you to assess that switch as best you can. Give the old B-knock treatment. Yes, yes, fascinating. I'm gonna watch Peruser watching the switch. This is incredible content. I don't think you've ever seen a stream like this before. This is why the people keep coming back. All right, here we go. <laughs> Louette's like, dude, don't do that. And now let's talk to the guy and see how he feels about his freedom. That's right, it's the most avant-garde content you'll ever see. Wow, he's really enjoying freedom. Look at him. Anyway, you want to buy anything? Now I see where Karen's fashion comes from. That's actually useful. I'm not going to buy it, but it could be useful. Oh, that's what Dragon Charm does. Mm, nothing I'm really hungry for. Graham, what are you doing? God, what? Oh, oh my God! What is this? <laughs> By the very gods. Why? Done. All right, to my allies, let's be uh, do be on the lookout for torch lighting opportunities for me. In fact, I'll go ahead and so I don't waste another butterfly. Guys, we only have two and a half hours of torch, so we gotta make this fast. Hey, okay, where'd Graham go? Graham seems to be telling me of treasure. I'm, I should always follow Oops. Graham over Peruser, because Peruser wants things to look at, but Graham, Graham knows where all the hot shit is at. Ooh, a great magic barrier. That might be even better than my current magic barrier, actually. Unless the stat requirements are out of line, which they might be. 28 faith. Isn't there an item you can use on spells that reduces the amount of re stats, statistics required? Yeah, yeah, one of the spices, that's it. Skeptic spice, wouldn't it be? Because lore-wise, that would make sense. I'm skeptical, I don't have any faith. So the more I doubt faith... Which is a really terrible message, by the way. The more I doubt faith, the more I'm able to use these great, incredible magics. All right, let's uh, let's fuck this guy up. That's useless, isn't it? That feels useless. Uh, I do remember there being something off one of the paths here. And Graham, Graham knows what's up. Despite all my rage, I'm still a basilisk in the cage. Ooh. 
Oh, the petrified guy has two bonfires? I don't, I don't need those. I just picked up two of them. I think I'd waste one of my fragrant branches on... Ooh. Uh, do I have to use a butterfly? Okay. I saw a lit thing further back, but I got five of them. We gotta wake up this dragon. Are all the invaders this guy? Big guy with the big scary size? Trying to backstab him. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. Cruiser was busy perusing something before the fight. I saw you come in late. I'm not getting off that easy. How many torches are... Ooh, stuff. Oh, Guys! Y'all are big sweeties. I can't stand it. What does this do? Poor Forlorn having a rough day at work, huh? Why can't I light this? Okay, this is the hallway of uh, shit fucking you up, right? Yeah, I remember these painted guardians. Forget what activates these guys. There's something. There's some triggering event that happens. That's right. I can't have too many sweets, guys. Please remember. There's uh, This is the equipment degrading area, right? Yeah. All right, guys, go get him. Or not that guy. Oh, this guy's different. Yes! Yes! I contributed. Getting himself to death. Good teamwork, gang. Wow. Does not give a shit about his armor. Or attacking. Either. Good old fashioned honorable duel. <laughs> That's, are you talking about this or the invader battle? Because these are both very honorable. Finish him. Finish him, Cell Sword. There you go. Alright, Peruser, please don't stare at me while I do this, but I have to get naked. I'm so sorry. Mm, I think I need to keep that on. Does this degrade? It does degrade. Eh. Alright, naked time. Oh, I got the staff equipped. Oh, per oh no, Peruser, no, please. I'm so... I'm so self-conscious about... about my disgusting body. You must... You must put away the binocular. <laughs> thought that was one of the other guys for a second. Like, man, you're dedicated to the gimmick. I'll give you that. Oh, no, I'm stuck. How dare you? Oh, my God. I got to keep... I got to put my clothes on before this gets... Oops. Before this gets too awkward. All right, chat. You can open your eyes now, by the way. I'm assuming you all had your eyes closed during that disgusting sequence. Uh, I need to put away a lot of my inventory. Where am I? The great inventory reshuffling. 
this, this kind of sucks because I um, don't have my other spells equipped anymore, but it's okay. Uh, what was the other ring I was using? This one, right? Is this right? That's my equip load. Mm, seems good. I think this is right. Oh, I need a drink. Oh my god, he was looking at me get dressed. Cell sword is disgusting. Oh, oh. That's right, I forgot this was here. Thanks for the heads up. Are you sure it's a bonfire peruser? Or are we positive? I don't know. Oh, he's going back to check. Okay. <laughs> I can command the phantoms with the mere sound of my voice. King Graham, Peruser, both of you do an emote right now. That counts. That counts. That counts. It works. It checks out. They did exactly what I asked. Incredible moment. with my new 20-something flame butterflies. Oh, yeah, you used the ogre to break down the door. That's right, I remember now. Oh, whoops, I kind of created a problem. <laughs> oh, peruser, over here, please. Peruser, you're gonna die. Oh. Well, at least I get to hit an ogre in his little butt. Oh, yeah, the phantom's there, too. Cell sword over here, please. You. You. I mean, I could use the black crystal to get rid of the NPC summon. But we're steadily luring <laughs> you. Rather goofy. All right, come on, Lue, it's over here. It's a little, there we go. Good job. Oh, my sword's about to break, but I have repair powder. Uh, so I don't need to disrupt the summon. It's... Oh, that, that's a, this is like a big strong dude weapon. Was it shell or skull that I picked up? Well, either way. There's one. And it's a guy's face. Seems good. Yeah, Louette let's, just let's, seems to love getting sat on. I guess he's really proud of his shields. Which, I mean, you know, man, you do you. That's okay. Oh, a mimic. Oh. That's the poo room we were just in. There was something in here, but no. Did I change it? Now I remember that. <laughs> oh, okay. Guess that's good. He 
has the red eye ring too. Uh, what's? Oh, is that the uh, your HP is low and you're stronger thing? That makes sense. So he loves being sat on because it makes him buffer. Makes him more strong. <sighs> Don't. Isn't there another one that comes out of this wall? Hang on a second. Oh, right. Okay. I guess we had to deal with him sooner or later. Uh, can we... Are we comfortable with this? Should we move all back? Okay. He doesn't seem that strong. Oh, Graham, no! Oh, I'm out of door corpse, too. <clears throat> well, I can use that bonfire now to get my stuff fixed up. I should probably do because I'm out of a lot of resources. Uh, let's yeah, let's hang back here. Well, I guess now we know the helper tier list. Sorry, Graham and uh, Peruser, but Celsor Luet's got you beat. What was that? You okay? I guess that was his victory smash, like his power move, if you will. Oh, hey, Karen. Uh, okay, before I summon anybody, though, I need to get back to the bonfire and also make sure we didn't miss anything. Clever strategy, Karen, putting your summon sign into a less visible spot so you can't get snipe summoned by someone else. Uh, that's the best way to get back to the bonfire. Oh yeah, this lights up the entire hallway, I believe. Well, whatever, I'll just use the... Boners. After... Alright, you gotta go, dude. I think Luet did just style on all of you guys. Incredibly good power move. All right, so we got Peruser again for when we get back. All right. I won't forget you. So, chat. How y'all doing? I haven't checked in with you guys lately, and I care, so I need to ask. Actually, maybe I shouldn't eat these souls in case... All my buddy's soul memories are, like, on a threshold. I can leave it. You're doing fair to middling? Well, that's okay, I guess. I'm glad you're doing solidly mediocre. Uh, my sp okay. Reattune spells I had. Uh, I had dark weapon. Do I have two? Oh, no, Scraps of shit. I don't think I want those. Uh, maybe jam some skeptic spice on the greater magic barrier if I want it. This is more like in case invaders and PvP stuff happens. And a little light healing for flask in case the flasks run out. Alright, back to. Back to the grind. I'm glad to hear you exist and you're perceiving. Are you currently perceiving incredible content, Awkward Joe? Alright, let's get the bros. Graham, Peruser, and I can't forget Karen when we pass that part of the hall. Assuming your sign is still there. Let me know, Karen, if it's not. Be on the lookout for it. Looks like we got the whole gang! <laughs> Karen's like, what did I just walk into? Karen immediately on the attack. Love the heads up. The heads upness. Graham, 
got sat on. Is there anything else to be done? So those locked doors... Uh, do you get the key from the guy, or do you get a key from like, elsewhere? Graham, do you know? Is there more to this area? Or do we go forward with the boss now? What say you, the uh, treasure expert? I'm pointing to you for the answers. Oh, we never lit all the torches, did we? All right, let's... Okay, we got to check the torches first. We got to monitor the torch situation. Kind of forgot... Lost track of that. That's locked. All right, guys. Where did we miss a torch? Where did these guys come from? Are those all my pals that died in the previous encounter? Oh, but yeah, aside from the dead dragon, don't we want to... Ooh, ooh. Sorry, I almost locked you guys out. Okay, where did we not light a torch? We lit that one. Or have we lit them all and now we need to uh, get our reward for having done so? That could be the answer. Given that they're all running dead. Oh. Ah! Wait, where did it. Where, what was he aiming at with his head? Did you see that perusal? I sure did. So that's how you get the key. Okay. That is changed from Scholar, no doubt. It should have fallen on you. <laughs> Wait, what's this? No. Oh. Oh, the floor looked odd for a second. All right. Now we can unlock the mystery of the... Now we can unlock the mystery of the locked doors. Do you ever want to unfreeze the ogre? Because you're not blocked from getting upstairs. I wouldn't think you need it. Not really? Okay. Legal Harlan, impressive multitasking. You're chatting and engaging with the Dark Souls universe simultaneously? <laughs> Karen, you are the giant lizard now. Or gecko or whatever. Let's go, gang. What is this Scooby-Doo-esque keep, by the way? What's going on? Uh, I don't think we need to... The lockstone only uh, turns the lights on, doesn't it? I don't think there's uh, actual items you get for doing so. I could be wrong. You are more than welcome to correct me in a very uh, mean way. In a very mean way, if you want to. There's an item, but it's eh. I don't need eh treasure. I need legit treasure. If the treasure ain't legit, then we will quit that particular garbage treasure. I want these guys cool masks. I'm sure they drop them at a very rare clip. Is this always a dark treasure? Karen is not fooling around. Oh. Oh, dear. Utter chaos. Didn't I get the non-crack invasion orb? I got a very specific orb earlier, and I want to say it was the infinite invasion one. Because those exist in two, don't they? Because, they, yeah, they, they were a thing in one, the uh, super orbs. <gasps> uh, 
Well, so it's just side content for random goodies. Oh, and a lever. I'm just going to pull it. I don't know what it does. I think I know what it does. Well, it doesn't matter because uh, the open or lower all the cages. Where'd you? Oh yeah, you were in one of the. Well, we freed all the monsters, but you know what? Very often you guys vote to save the animals, so. You know what? That's what I did. You're welcome. All right, I think we are... I think I've had uh, all we need of Aldia's keep. I think. What say you guys? You ready to kill this boss that I don't remember? I just remember it's a big dragon. I guess this boss is called, like, G G Dragon Guardian? Guard Dragon? Red Dragon? Uh, these guys seem ready. Karen's pumped up. Take a drink. Always good to drink before a battle. It's the big... Oh, I was right. Guardian Dragon. Uh, uh. Oh. Is that like his tail? Is that what you're supposed to do? I'm helping. Right? I thought this thing usually like took to the ceiling and spit fire all around the arena. I guess when you have four people who can just go gangbusters on the boss, it's a uh, moot point. Good job, gang. I'm so pumped up. Chat, are you pumped up? On a scale of one to totally totes pumped up. Describe your state of pumped upness. It actually attacks you if it lives for more than five seconds. I guess we were just too good. All right, now we go to a pretty cool area. Oh, no! No! Oh. Shameful move on my part. Probably my most embarrassing moment in my entire gaming career. There's an invisible dude as well. Nope. What? No! I'm no! Oh, for two. All right, I'm gonna light the bonfire and then the elevator will be done by then. I'll come back. Bear of the curse. Your voice changed. Long have I awaited one such as you, one who might shatter the shackles of fate, one who can set me free. Also, I'm 20 years younger. Bear Punches you in the face. Oh. oh, that's the you get uh, homeward boners forever item, right? My inventory is a mess. Where's an item that looks like a feather? Fire, use the feather. Uh, to, well, actually, no, I don't want to use the feather. I want to go back in the elevator. It's just in here, right? 
Did they change VAs for the lady? Oh, hey, Maddie, how's it going? I'm glad she didn't see me manipulate the elevator. That would have been really embarrassing. Actually, I need to. I want to rest at the bonfire. So once I do take a big old whiff out of that aged feather, like a big old sniff. I, I imagine that's how you use the items, right? You just take the aged feather, just go, you know, stuff it up your nose. Anyway, once I use it, I'll actually come back here because I think you have to rest at it. Oh, so there's actual lore reasons that she talks like that. Maddie, I am doing solid. You know, I would say my current state is identical to my Dark Souls 2 character right now. Like, I'm dressed just like him. I'm running just like him. Doing everything just like him. Hey, it came back. No, it didn't. All right, guys, let's time this. How long is the elevator? But wait, there's more. Someone said there was an invisible guy. I see a shadow being cast here. Are you an invisible guy? Why is there an invisible guy? <laughs> okay. Alright, what's the lore behind why that exists? You know, I think Evil Crash is right. One more time, folks, for the road. Here we go. It's the elevator. Give it up. Come on. You love to see it. So, uh, do we have a final verdict? How long was the elevator sequence? All right, now we'll use the H feather. <laughs> of course. It was deep fear long. That is a long elevator ride. 35 seconds. Wow. Mm. I'm trying to think if I've ever spent exactly... 35 seconds on an elevator. Probably. Somebody eventually hits all those buttons. Uh, oh. <laughs> the elevator section wasn't long enough, apparently. But does the 35 seconds, does that account for the time the elevator door takes to open? Because you're still on the elevator. 
Ergo, you're still participating in the elevator ride at that point, right? It does count that? Okay. All right, you guys are good. You guys are good. Impressive work. All right, who's this? Got Graham. And we got Graham. Let's go, Graham. I ain't waiting for you. You probably know where to go. You know where all the goodies are. I do remember dying a lot on this bridge. I mean, not this bridge, but this area in general. Oh, this is a... Well, okay. Do you have to use the one there? Mandatory? This is probably your favorite area. It's a cool area. Oh no. Watch out, Graham. Oh. Not a fan of the exploding guys, but I do like the air. The most effective technique I've seen. Okay, we got treasure in here, I saw. Good job, Graham. Be wary of equipment breakage and short butthole. Butthole should be like a requirement for every message in Dark Souls. It would enhance the experience more. I don't remember there being so many of these. Some of these break your equipment fart cloud guys. Graham, do we wake up the dragon? Do we take the risk? Oops. Well, the end. Oh, sh I'm assuming. Oh! All right. So I got one equip break blast on me. Don't you just dance around their turkey legs until they're dying? Oh no! That's so bad. Decent amount of souls, too. Wow, oh, they just throw every upgrade material at you here, don't they? This is game's way of saying, like, you better be maxing out your gear if you ain't already done so. Do they still have the mechanic of if you bre if you break too many eggs and cross the bridge at the end, you're gonna die, essentially? You're about to leave, Graham, it looks like. I don't I did not break that egg. I think Graham broke the egg. They must have upped the amount of those guys. It just feels like there's more. Excuses? It was totally Graham. Had to have been. Sure, Graham knows where all the goodies and treasure are, but that doesn't mean Graham's a completely responsible person otherwise. Damn, Graham was booking it. Graham wants to make his soul count before it fades into the ether. Good job, Graham. You can leave proud. So guys, do you want me to try to solo one of these dragons or should I let the dragon have his slumber? Let's see. Let's say you. Another one? Go after your, oh, you're alive. I thought you were stoned. Beat off the dragon, they're really not that difficult. Okay, if you're gonna put that kind of pressure on me, then I guess I haven't a choice. Hmm. I wonder if spamming door corpse is a valid approach here. Except I can't lock on him, so probably not.
takes a long time to cast. Hmm. Ooh, Fire Tempest. <laughs> Them thighs. Guys, please do not be too thirsty about the evil fire-breathing dragon. They're just dragons, guys. They don't need your fandom. Uh, this is where we came in, yeah? Yes. Um, so, what's in the cave? Like, this I remember being the way forward, which means there's probably side content, i.e. treasure. Asking the chat to stop only makes it thirstier. I know. I mean, I'm, I'm just trying to do my bet. Look, I submitted a partner application recently. And there might be somebody from Big Twitch wa uh, watching this right now. Evaluating, like, is this truly who we want to represent the Twitch brand? I can't be having people thirsty for dragons in my chat. Setting off bad vibes for the... Uh, people evaluating my application. I'll let that one go. I mean, dragon fanfiction is fine, as long as it's tasteful. I just want it to be tasteful. That's not asking for a whole lot, I don't think. What if Big Twitch is a dragon? Well, I mean, that would change a lot, I think. I mean, first of all, that would confirm that dragons are actually real, and I think the world would be, uh, would be a bit imbalanced by this revelation. My robes broken do exactly okay so leaving that dragon oh hey okay. you weren't too hard before Ooh. Ooh. all right we'll have a dark sorcery battle Royal Sorcerer Nav ain't got a chance against me. I found it. Saved it. Didn't think I'd come up with it, but there. Got it at the end. Everything worked. Everything's good. You can never go wrong with Door Corpse Spam. Alright, I think we gotta beat up more dragons. Does his head take more damage? Let's make this even faster. He never ain't much after all. There you go. You guys know it. I didn't mean to do that. Wake up! I don't think there's any reason to lock on to this guy. If my robes weren't broken, I probably wouldn't have taken as much damage there. Any of you ever break your robes? Like, oops, I dropped my robe. It just breaks into a million pieces. Where the heck am I? Oh, this is the cave I was pontificating coming into. Oh, no, this is the alternate path that... Okay. Right, 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 right. Because this is where I was now. I know there's a short... Okay. These dragons were acting rather sus. Just making sure. Robes aren't accepted in your workplace? Did my eyes deceive me or... Oh, hey, a thing. I don't know if I want that thing, though. I remember whatever this item is, you have to, like, warp out after you get it, and I don't want to warp in my current state. Uh, what is that item, if anybody knows? Dragon Sauce. 
it's not worth it? Okay. But I still want to know what it is. It's an inadequate answer. It's only a half answer. Is this the shortcut? The zip line there? Okay. Oh, look at him with that swag after the fact, too. Very much a jerk move. Okay, I think this takes you back to the thing. But before that, I just want to scout this area to make sure I didn't abandon anything else of worth. I have no idea if I've broken an, an unacceptable amount of eggs or not, either. But this is how you get back after you use the original shortcut, so I think we go up here, take the zip. Yeah, this is what dragons do all day. Dragons just totally broing out, hanging out. There's a ladder you kick down or something that goes to the bonfire. Or it was just here the whole time. Uh, all right, let me, I need to fix my broken clothing before we proceed. I'm sorry your clothes are broken, Johnny. You gotta stop letting people bust up in your face like that. It's gonna break your clothes. I... Oh my god, all of my clothes are broken. I mean, what's... Love when you, you break your accessories, do they just not have their effect anymore? Okay, they do. <laughs> because my spells ain't attuned. That's called science. The dark souls of clothing malfunctions. I can't believe I'm having a wardrobe malfunction in the middle of the broadcast. They're not going to give me partner if they find that out. Just enough for a level two. How nice. How nice. Ain't that nice, guys? No, no, I don't... I gotta go hang out with the, your younger self. I hope she's not too offended that I'm leaving her for a younger version of her. What is up with these clouds? Look at all this evil dragon energy. What is this, dragon airy or dragon eerie? Could be either, I don't know. It's horrifying is what it is. Yes, evil dragon energy is a trademarked beverage, by the way. Okay, so canonically, I have not broken any eggs because I warped out and came back, correct? So this should be a smooth bridge ride. Never had any doubt. Not once. Complete confidence. Wait, no, the room's too small. You can't possibly... Oh, you're tiny. I'm little Aldia. I want to pet you, Aldi. How do I do that? Where is each part of your body? There's a, a foot. Uh, all the glowy eye at some point. Okay, this is this is the this is all these butt region right there. 
that's your butt region, so... Is your face, like... I guess, I guess this is your face. Uh, what do you guys think? Yes or no? You guys decide. I listened to everything you said. I wasn't distracted. I seem to shed the yoke of fate. Is it because you look like a mess? I don't see old Aldia showing up and people being immediately reassured that everything's going to be okay. I'm here to help, and this is me. Bye. I didn't have time for a poll there, Shadowhawk. We gotta, like, we are on. I mean, I know I've broken up this into several streams, but uh, last I checked, I'm pretty sure I'm on the world record pace for any percent Dark Souls 2. And no one should... did change this area. They added a lot of that guy, right? Okay, so... Not binoculars, but... Is that one gonna just chill until I beat off this guy? Are you cool? Are you chill? Are these guys chill? Yeah, these guys all respect you. Until you do something that I don't remember. And I don't remember that that does either. I'm trying to remember what makes them go ape on, ape shit on you. All the blood spatter just my reach. Breaking the eggs makes them aggressive. That'd be so cool if true. Graham is back as Shadow Hog. Dude, oh. Graham, what'd you do to these guys? Look, I don't want any part of this. Whatever you guys are mixed up in, I don't want to know. What happened? Is it because I summoned a guy? Ram! What happened? Oh, hey, an item. What did happen? But they're my friends! These guys are tough, too. So, they don't like phantoms? Don't break my robes again. Well, let's be honest, that was clearly Graham's fault, right? I mean, clearly. Either they don't like it when you summon phantoms or Graham just attacked one for the hell of it. And does this per does that permanently activate them though? I only have 61 humanity. Rough. Is that Karen? That looks like Karen. Karen? Karen, is it? Oh. Oh. Looked just like you. But no sign. Okay, are we cool? All right, you're acting all respectful and shit, so. Okay, let's 
a soft reset. Try that again. for science. I just want a conclusive proof if this is Grim being a jerk or if it's game mechanics. There we go. <laughs> okay, that answers that question. All right, Grandma, I'm sorry I blamed you earlier. Interesting though, right? Punishment for summoning help, which many players will have done throughout the game. Graham, do you think I should use a lockstone there or save? I mean, I've been saving throughout the whole game, but I don't remember what's... I think it's just treasure, isn't it? You get an armor set? Eh. I'd, I'm pretty satisfied with my hexy gear. I need my souls back. Jeez. I may have to just solo this. As much fun as it is to summon people for goofy laughs all over broadcast. Did Graham die? No, no, he's I'm, I'm trying to help you, Graham. Are we cool now? I don't have a phantom here. Uh. Okay, maybe I can have you follow me downstairs. How about that? Split you guys up a little bit. No? Huh? No? Oh, are we good? Are we cool? Hey, uh, oh, we're not. Are we? Wait, are we? are we? Okay. Make up your mind, guys. Don't just ghost me. Like, if you have a beef with me, speak up. I'm a reasonable person. Okay. I'm going to not summon help for this area, I think. How embarrassing. I'll do it solo, and along the way... I'll just see if I can grab that 10% HP back without using a humanite. Excuse me, human effigy. Of course, maybe these guys will be upset that I allowed myself to be summoned for help in their world or whatever. So. Oh, my stick. Oh. Hey, how you doing? If all else fails, you can be summoned in Aldia? How do you mean? Oh, you mean like to get the humanity back, you mean? If no one summons me here because they know how the area works? Oh, crap. Jeez, once they hit you once, it's... Once they get you in that first stun, it's hard to get away. These dragon boys are all about honor. What's not honorable about having friends? I think these guys are just big, lonely nerds. Oh, you like being social with your friends online? I don't like that. Yeah, honor, whatever. It's not honor. Get out of here. You're just a baby. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Oh, I'm going to be in an awkward spot when I reappear here. I don't know what you're talking about, Zoo7. I'm well into my teens. Oh, 
Jeez, and Graham does not wait. Backstab, come on. It's only holding you back, just look at Graham. Fair point. Good luck solo in the rest of this area, Graham. Only a shade, so this should be pretty fleeting. Huh? Oh, I see. Graham kind of preps the uh, <laughs> area. Show Graham. And now we can see Graham as he was as his fashion was meant to be seen. Now he doesn't look all phantom and ghosty. Look at the fashion. It is great. If only the hat were blue, but that's not possible. Oh, am I Cedric in this situation? Um Good job, Graham! You got the great treasure! Look out, Graham! Shit's gonna fuck you up up here if you're not careful. Oh no no! Graham, we're in Bonersville now! You guys like my Cedric? The town thing, but with dragons. You didn't get the great treasure over here. Look, Graham, good job. How long until that gets really annoying, by the way? It's probably already happened. Huh? You guys give up so fast. I've heard there's a ring in this game that gives you the appearance of Cedric if you put it on, but I have not found it yet. Look, Graham! Some more bullshit this way! The real Dark Souls starts here, Graham! Oh, fuck, Graham! I'm getting the shit out of here! Good luck! Good luck, motherfucker! Oh, God! Oh, shit! Graham, did you know what you were doing there? That one almost backstabbed. Oh, dear. I'm soloing this area, that's for sure. Oh, I can't die. Uh, I don't want to die. Get him, Graham! I did come to the wrong part of town. Good lord. Get him, Gra Graham. Oh, okay. <laughs> Guys! Can we talk about this, please? They're like, there's, there's no way I can jump into the fray and live here. Okay, maybe I can pick you off. Yeah, you, oh. Y yeah. Yeah, you'd better run. Huh? Oh, he's still alive, too. All right, now we fight with honor. What is he wielding? That rocking some cool gear there. Nope. Not liking how this is working out. No idea where Graham is. Graham is probably waiting for me to disappear, so. This thing is sturdy, my goodness. Mm. 
So where's his buddy who was almost dead? I can't believe this is another player in disguise. I feel like my loadout is not very effective against this thing. Okay, I don't have room to use the right Harder than most invasions. How am I still here? I would have thought my uh, sh shade time would have worn off by now. Okay. We got our health back. Also, I was in an awkward. Hey! I was. We were in an awkward spot when we left. Oh, I forgot you were there. And I still have some souls to pick up as well, do I not? Yes. Maybe I just ignore this guy. This guy... Guys with those... Are you guys going to be mad if I run from him? Yes, okay, you are. Okay, I understand. All right, honor. I get it. I have to duel every single one. Well, I'm going to finish it. Okay, hang on. Reset the area. Let's reset and return to Majula as well. Turn on what we got. These guys are so picky with their honor, right? Like I'm honorable occasionally, but not, not that strict. Honor adjacent, exactly. I'm honorable where it counts, I like to think. And I said as much in my Twitch partner application that's now in process. They do go back to being friendly. Did I have to kill the guy first? Or do they just de-aggro once you're far away? Bearer of the until Alright. More um, we're almost just about where we want to be, I think, with this build. They do de-aggro? Gotcha. Well, one way to de-aggro them is to go back to Majula and level up with all the souls you got. Strategy. You're right, Shadowhog. I could level my strength for that uh, grape sword. That Declan kindly gifted me a bit ago. I could just pour all of my excess levels into it. out of the worst times. Okay, there. I dueled your guy. Are you pleased now? Ugh. It's the second one that's really tough because it's the swing can... In fact, it's a dwarf weapon. Okay. Oops, not... Oh, I went to... So see, they're cool with me running away. They're like, dude, no problem, I get it. But, but are they cool with this sort of honor? Is this the honorable duel you guys were so hungry for? You happy? Okay, 
right, now can I squeeze past you guys? Are you gonna, you gonna cool? We good? I remember there's uh, quite a good ring here. Just don't remember where it is. Not a minute. You haven't been happy since 1996? What happened in 1996? Okay, so you guys are cool, right? We good? We uh, everything good? Yeah, just just watching the dragons, chilling, stealing your faint stones. It's all good. Quake came out. <laughs> Did that ruin your life? Evil crash. Oh, they do not aggro unless you reset. And based on your all caps uh, chat message, Legal Harlot, I imagine you found that out a difficult way. This is the other way past this, yes. So, I think there's at least one more of the hammer dudes. Space Jam came out? I mean, Space Jam was pretty cool. That was, that was cool, Space Jam. Right, sword guys, they ain't nothing. And I aim to prove this fact. Aim to prove beyond the shadow of a doubt that these sword guys are really just nothing to work of, worry about, right? You can see that smooth, perfect fight where I didn't do anything wrong. Okay, the ring I want, I think, is this way. Maybe there's something down here. No sign of mimicry. Just in case, pop one of these. Oh, you made it, Legal Harlot? Did you run through the huge gauntlet of bros at the end as well? And they were all aggroing you too? What's up, Ray? Uh, is there a hidden thing here? I don't recall. There was a. Oh. Wait, are they cool with Bashful Ray? Wait, why does Bashful Ray get a pass? Oh, Bashful Ray does not get a pass. Uh -oh. I kind of forgot about that as I was summoning people anyway, but whatever. Alright, let's see what Bashful Ray's made of. Right. I mean, that was a lot better than what we've seen from the per peruser and Graham to date. Am I right or what? <laughs> Bashful Ray, you get uh, mod status and VIP status in my chat. Definitely. Even though you're an AI. I mean, yeah, Bashful Ray does have those knife toes. Can't beat that. I think this is where that ring is that I want. This one? Yeah, this is the one. This just gives us, like, extra cool stuff. Because what does it do? It's, uh... Yeah, it's the ring of protection thing from one. Gives you all the good shit. Another NPC invaded us. Come on, Ray. I mean, if NPCs can invade me while I'm supposed to be doing these supposedly honorable duels, I think Bashful Ray deserves a pass from the honor guard or whatever. Oops. 
I got the kill on that run. Petrified egg. What does that do? Is that a plot item that makes a thingy happen later? Cutscene triggers an event, something. Oh, right, the uh, Dragon Covenant. That's it. The Dragon Covenant. And that's kind of the end of the area, more or less, isn't it? Oh, except these guys are mad at me. Uh. Okay, chat, let me ask what you think. Should I try to get to the end of this area now or go back to the bonfire, reset everything, and with the idea that I have to reduel everything. You guys have a preference? I make a run for it. I think we can make it. Bashful Ray's about to leave. These guys are just in the way. Well, fortune favors the bold. This will be a attempt. I have to open the door too, don't I? Okay. Get him, Ray. Quick check for treasure. No. No. Uh, bye. Oh, hey, you again. Oh, yeah, you're the boss of the guys. That's why you were tough. Hey, hey, hey. Not fair. Not fair. You are breaking the rule. Oh. You guys are breaking all the rules. Eh. Oh, we lost him. Or did, oh, now we lost him. Dark Souls 2. Okay, do not hit the dragon. I remember that. You talk to the dragon. Let's talk it out. This is Nidhogg. Oh, also, you can have this, I guess. I think I've made myself perfectly clear. This, uh, this, this is an optional fight. And, oh, yeah, there's your face. I remember this fight uh, sucking quite a lot. 